open source is confusing. I've been there when I've done that. I come from a tier 3 college nobody has heard of and got accepted in the most prestigious program in the open source community called Google Summon of Code. Our goal today is to explain open source contribution in a way that even a child can understand, starting from the very basics. Now, if you have no idea what open source or GSOC is, you'd want to watch my previous video. Let's start with the story. We have two chefs named Wajid and Sajjad. Wajid is a chef and has a lot of recipes of his own. Now, Sajjad, on the other hand, is a more creative chef and likes to always try new ingredients. Whenever both of these chefs make a recipe, Sajjad always adds new ingredients in between that would sometimes make it better or just completely destroy the dish. This was a huge issue for them. So both of these chefs came up with an idea. How about a system to review any additions or subtractions to the recipe before actually including them in the main recipe? So after a lot of thinking and planning, they came up with their own system. Let me explain it to you guys. Now, Wajid is the main chef for all Chinese items, right? So he owns the recipe for chicken soft noodles, for example. Now, Sajja thinks that adding 100 grams of black pepper and removing 100 grams of salt would make the recipe much better. This is what he thinks, but in reality, we don't know the actual impact on the taste, right? So step one would be that Sajjad makes a copy of the recipe from Wajib. In GitHub, this is called forking. Making a copy of the original project and keeping it with you. Now, Sajjad is in his own kitchen trying to make this recipe using all his creativity. Sometimes he's adding chili sauce, sometimes he's removing vegetables from the recipe. In short, he's making a lot of changes in his own kitchen. Finally, after making this dish around seven or eight times with multiple changes, he comes up with an absolutely lip-smackingly delicious recipe. But there's just one single problem. He made so many changes that he hardly remembers what he added and what he removed. Sajjad was very sad. He sat on the chair with his chef hat on his head, disappointed and looking out of the window seeing the cars passing by. And then an idea clicks. Why not make note of every single change I make to the recipe, whether that is adding or removing ingredients, so that I can keep track of everything. So he started writing down each change on a piece of paper. And in GitHub language, this is called a commit. There are two parts of a commit. The first one is a message associated with the commit, which basically summarizes the change that you've made. So, for example, if Sajjad adds 100 grams of salt, he's going to write, you know, 100 grams salt added, something like that. The second part of a commit is called the commit hash. This is a string that uniquely identifies your commit or your change. Like, for example, there might be a thousand changes in which Sajjad is just adding salt, right? But if you want to point to a specific commit, you need to have a uniquely identifiable string which is basically what a commit hash is. Another benefit of commits is that you can roll back to the previous commit, meaning that let's say Sajjad adds too much salt, right? He could go back in a time machine and start over again. Now, obviously this isn't possible in the real world, at least till now, but in the world of GitHub, this is possible. Coming back to our story, Sajjad solved his problem and went back to Wajid with his recipe. When they both met, they realized that Wajid had made a change in his recipe while Sajjad was gone. And he added 15 grams of potatoes. Now, they were confused about how to merge both of these recipes. So they came up with this concept called a pull request. A pull request is basically when you submit a request to merge your version of the code base with all the changes and features that you've added. And this is then merged to the original project or original recipe. Now in GitHub, there's a wonderful feature that shows all the additions you've made in green and all the subtractions are the things you've removed in red. This makes it very easy for the owner of the project or Chef Wajid in our story to review what all changes that were made. The final decision to merge the changes will be made by Wajid 
since he owns the recipe and he owns the project. Now let's assume that Wajid and Sajjad both remove 100 grams of salt from the recipe. And instead of that, Wajid adds 100 grams of pepper, but Sajjad adds 100 grams of sugar. Okay. So now when they are going to merge with both of these recipes, there's going to be a conflict. And the conflict is, whose change should I accept? Should I accept Wajid's change or Sajjad's change? The computer or GitHub gets confused over here. And that's why a conflict arises. This conflict is called a merge conflict. And the owner of the project is responsible for resolving it. So in our case, Chef Wajid will take the decision on how to resolve this conflict. Once the merging process is complete, which is just pressing a button in GitHub to be honest, then the change that Sajjad had made is successfully merged. And now Sajjad is called an open source contributor. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart to Sajjad for coming up with this brilliant system. Now let's go over this whole story one last time in GitHub itself. This is the original recipe from Majid. Here is the file. Sajjad presses this button to make a copy or fork the project. He goes to the copy he just made. You can see that the copy points back to the original project here. He makes a change in his recipe by adding 100 grams of salt. He makes a commit with a message as we discussed. Once this is done, a button appears to make a pull request. He presses that button and comes to the screen. In this screen, on the files changed tab, you can see all the files and the part of the code base that is changed and the red and green lines that we spoke about earlier. In the conversations tab, you get a chance to write a message describing all the changes you've made and others can reply to it if they have anything else to add or ask. I have a series explaining open source so you might want to check that out but that's it for today. See you in the next video.